Hey there guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to save your video on the Splice Video Editor app. I will repeat, we're talking about the Splice Video Editor app and how to save your video. So let's get on over to the phone. By the way, we're going to be doing this on an iPhone. Uh, so I'll just scooch over and I will bring up Splice. So let's do the damn thing. All right, so step number one is going to be to obviously bring up the Splice app. And what we want to do here is it's going to ask us to leave a review. No, we do not want to. Let's delete this old um, video. So this is a new project. This is the screen where we can set up new projects. And then if I click new project, um, what I can do here um, is I can click. Here is a video of something to do with fish tank stuff because I do have a, a channel on fish tanks. So here is the video and it's just like an intro, right? So this is when you're in like the middle of a project and you're looking to save the video in this splice editor application, right? So then there's there's two ways you can do this. You can just click the home button up here in the left-hand corner and it will automatically save it, right? But I don't tend to do this because, you know, I worry about uh, the, 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 the splice editor app saving it and just trusting it. So then what you can do is just click on this project again and you can export it. See up here in the right hand corner corner, you can export it and you can do ultra 4K, blah -dee -dee. You can choose your frames per second. This is why I love Splice because uh, you can literally do everything. And this is like my favorite video editing app for a phone and you can export the video and it's going to sit here and export it. It's only going to take like depending on how long your video is and what frames and this what quality is going to depend on how long it takes. So then once it's exported, it should be in your camera roll. So it's as easy as that. And this is super simple. And then that way, when you go to start, like when you go back to this home screen, like say if you were to re-log into Splice and it didn't show up there as to auto save your project, this would be perfect for you to just reload the edited video that you already exported from your camera roll. So hopefully that makes sense. So guys, um, hopefully this video helped you learn how to save a video in the middle of a project or whatever you want to call it in the Splice Video Editor app. So please consider subscribing. I am a video marketing nerd. My name is Chris, by the way. I have eight monetized YouTube channels. I'm a video marketing dork. Uh, Lottie Dottie, who likes to party. I will see you in the next one. How to save a video on the Splice Editor app.